So this is Fort Vine. These are my greatest friends ever, and they're gonna Aww. give us a tour of their van. Hi, this is Gypsy Bungalow. This is our van. Come take a look. <laughs> So this is our kitchen. This is where we do all of our cooking. We have a little camp stove that we set up and we'll, you know, propane powers the fire for the food. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we're at a campsite and we cook on a real fire. That's always exciting. But typically we're in here cooking. We have a max air fan in the ceiling that kind of draws the air out. This is our sink. We got super simple, clean water, gray water, and there's a little marine foot pump on the side. That makes the water go. Oh, and come in here and check out this sink. It's a salad bowl, and we cut a drain into the bottom of it. So there's the water. It actually helps us save a lot of water, so we can go about a week with however many gallons that is. Is it six, six gallons? Six gallon tank. We can last a week on six gallons, not drinking water. Drinking water goes in here. This is our Berkey. Gratitude and love, that's what it's all about. <laughs> um, so we fill any kind of water in the top here and it filters through and it's nice and clean for drinking water. And we keep extra water in this glass drum and then some like water bottles under the garbage can down there for even extra water. But this is a 2.25 gallons. So we drink about one of these a day between the two of us, pretty much drink between it. drinking and then cooking with it too. So above our kitchen, we have open cabinetry. We wanted to keep it nice and airy and not so cramped. Um, we have all of our toiletries on this side, our spices for cooking on this side, and our library on this side. So this is the front of our van. We got this nice swivel seat um, that we turn around when we're camped. And we have our kitty litter up in the front. We kind of hide it up in here. And this is our Reflectix. We sewed a black um, sheet on here so that when we're trying to be stealthy, we can flip it around and it just kind of until the lights are out. And then typically we have the Reflectix on the other side so that it reflects the sun. Our living room slash dining room slash hangout spot office slash space recording studio closet <laughs> it serves many purposes um, we wanted to have really big bench seats in our van because we love hosting this table can pull all the way out to here um, it slides out actually it comes all the way out and goes in between and then these cushions come off and go in the so middle <laughs> and then we have a guest bed um, these are our cabinets. Oh, oh. you all right, Nana? <laughs> yeah, fan life! <laughs> uh, this is like all of our toiletry stuff, towels and baby wipes and things like that. These are all of my clothes. These are all of Nina's clothes, so pretty tiny living. We have a small collection of clothing. This is our battery. Solar batteries up in here, which powers everything. And then under the two bench seats, we also have a lot of storage for things. So we keep about a week's worth of food in our set power refrigerator. Like it's a chest a fridge. Bolt fridge. Works and pretty good. We love it. Right now it's being powered by this handy dandy Opus battery uh, when there's not enough sunlight because we're parked in the shade <laughs> for our real battery. So it's nice to have an extra battery, but this fridge works great. We love it.
And everybody likes to know where you guys use your toilet. <laughs> it's right here. We got a little curtain and it's actually just super simple. It's a little cassette uh, porta potty with chemicals and we actually very rarely use it. So we, when we're camping, we'll you know dig a hole like the old school Boy Scout way. And then usually we're at campsites or people's houses. So we get along that way too. So this is our bedroom. We have a little shelf up here for extra library space. With we extra like to books. read. <laughs> yeah. And um, we have our Max Air fan above our bed, which is really handy. Couldn't live without it. This van does have an air conditioning unit in the ceiling, but only when the van's turned on because it used to be a passenger van. So that's really nice when we're driving, but when we're camped up somewhere, it's all about the Max Air fan. This is a queen size bed, and because of the windows, we kind of have natural pop-outs because this used to be a 15 passenger van. So I'm six, one and a half-ish. So I can actually fit from head to toe um, between the windows. So it's nice, we have a lot of space back here. <laughs> this is where we keep all of our musical gear because we are touring musicians. So we got our sound gear, bass guitar, electric guitar, keyboards, ukulele, all kinds of stuff. Speakers, merch bin, extra water bottles. It takes up most of our space is our musical gear. Yeah. Leveling blocks. <laughs> <Cut>. <laughs> Leveling blocks. <laughs> I needed to tell you that we had leveling blocks. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Well, I mean, we don't have leveling blocks. You don't have leveling blocks? Nope. Well, hang on bus, I guess you're always in flat areas. Nope, we're not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is our, our storage, pretty packed up. We got our um, reflectics up here and all of our mic stands and Hi guys, I'm with Ford Vine. These guys are some of our greatest friends on the entire planet. So we just kind of want to have a dialogue and talk about, you know, why you chose van life. How does it work being musicians? I know with us being musicians in bus life, there's a lot of similarities. The main reason we wanted to get into a van and get out of the city is because we could make a living from our music full time. We play more than two shows a month. Yeah, absolutely. And you get in the experiences and the people that you meet and like, Camping along the way. Oh, for sure. It's like your life is one big vacation camping trip. Yeah. You Adventure. pretty much nailed it on yeah. the mm -hmm. Also, we met this band called Arbor Season and they were really inspiring to us. Mm. <laughs> totally. um, so what are like some favorite things about your your bus build? I mean your van build. Like what are you saying bus? I know. Because, you hey, know. don't discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite thing about this build <clears throat> is how open the layout is. Yeah. Like a lot of people, we didn't do a bathroom or a shower, and so a lot of these vans have, will have like a wall on one side and then like counters on the other, and so it just kind of feels really claustrophobic, mm -hmm. which is fine because you, hallway. I mean, you have a shower and a bathroom, that's awesome, and then you've got all this storage space, but it doesn't feel nearly as open as this, so when we do right. like our a little like tiny people's festival and all these festivals where people are checking out our van the top comment is like it's so roomy there's so much space like i could really live in here you know and we bought a passenger van which comes with all these beautiful windows and we didn't want to have anything from floor to ceiling blocking a window right. so that's kind of why we chose this design which does make it more difficult to regulate the temperature right 
but it's worth it to have the beautiful views. We just try to tour where the weather's gonna be nice. We're gonna talk about um, how much it costs to, to build out your van. Uh, maybe even get into the money part about like how much does it take to be on the road mm -hmm. um like maybe your monthly expenses i don't know if you want to go that deep sure um yeah. but it's pretty yeah. simple <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. okay so we bought the van used uh no renovation yet we bought it from a transportation company an airport shuttle company um we were selling it on ebay yeah so we bid on it sight unseen my parents thought that was crazy for doing oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but I really wanted this van, and so we bought it for $20,000. And then we put about $6,000 into the renovation. And then we did, have to, we did have to make some mechanical upgrades because it was a 10-year-old van when we bought it. So there yeah. were some things mechanically that you know went awry. And it is a Mercedes, so the parts are imported. It is expensive whenever things break down. But the engine is really solid. So, so $26,000. Basically, for and the then whole you have to have some money for the up. And then I but, think yeah. we spend. We've been replacing parts of the van. We've probably spent at least ten thousand dollars in the last four years, just like replacing this or oil changes or you know. I can accurately say that this van was a six thousand dollar conversion. Yeah. I'm putting that as the title of this van. <laughs> because you don't you see lots of fifteen thousand or ten thousand, but six thousand and you made this is really beautiful I can't believe Thank that. You. Was, well we did whoa. we did all of it in 2018 before the price of lumber went through the roof. Right. And, and our systems are really simple. Yeah. Like we have an all in one battery that's got like the charge controller and the converter and everything. That's just that's simple. Fun fact, the battery system was twenty five hundred. So that was like a bulk of the cost. Wow. Everything else was just like wood. Mm. Yeah, but the floors we got on clearance for $25. I love telling people that. They're real bamboo, real bamboo flooring for $25. Yeah. But the footprint is so small, so we only needed to buy one box. Wow. Yeah, yeah we did all the construction ourselves. We didn't hire anything out. We did have one friend that helped us build the cabinets, but... And just... then another friend helped us put the solar panels on the roof. Yeah, okay. Um, we just pay we... for fuel and food. That's it. And you don't pay for yeah. campgrounds, you park for free. We park for free. We'll pay for, for campgrounds room. like once in a while. When maybe, we're... maybe once every couple months. Yeah, splurging. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what would you do differently in this beautiful bus wheel? Because I'm looking at it and I'm like, I wouldn't do anything differently, but you also know what goes on behind the walls, I do not. Yeah. I would have put a composting toilet in, in day one. Mm. But the cassette toilet is fine, it's just we try not to use it as much as possible because it is kind of a hassle to dump it. Right. But yeah, a composting toilet would have just maybe been better. Well, just if you decide to go with nature's head, you can use Arbor Season Code for uh. 10 I don't know. I think it's. I don't know if it's ten percent off or. That's a pretty or, good deal. Or what? Uh, all like, I know is that if you buy through us, like a hundred bucks off. At least we get money. I know that yeah. if you buy through Link us. Link in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other, the other thing I would have changed, which we're going to, is um, we don't have a heater in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when it's cold in the winter, we just kind of bundle up and like put a lot of Snuggle blankets. with our dog and our cat under the covers. Yeah. So we're gonna do. We're gonna put it and install a diesel heater this winter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Ford Vine, thanks for letting us see your van and your tour life, and we're going to get some fun shots of us all hanging out tonight in the middle of nowhere, Idaho, so it's going to be fun. Cut to B-roll now, and we're <laughs> hanging out by the fire. Oh yeah. Also, uh, the best part about van life and bus life is you travel full time and you get to see your friends on the road. Like, we meet up in like Ohio, uh, Arizona, here mm -hmm. in Boise, mm -hmm. Idaho, Washington. Idaho. We in Washington? Washington? Can't remember. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. But it's very stable. Like this mm -hmm. is this is a time in, in life in history where this is really it sounds crazy and it sounds out of like, whoa, how do you do this, this, this? it's with all the apps today and with mm -hmm. all the the community itself is massive. There's totally and hundreds, really supportive. Yeah. Really supportive. Um and I find it's easier to live in a bus or a van than it is to do an R V because even if you're not supposed to park somewhere the people that are kicking you out are very nice because they're very interested in what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry we have to kick you out, but <laughs> this is so cool. Can we see your ring? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Fort Fine. Yeah. I'm going to put yeah. your links below and uh, if you guys can follow these guys. We do have all of our music on 
Spotify, iTunes. So and we have an Instagram. You can check out our tunes. It. You can uh, look up Fort Vine. Yep. And in the bio below, uh, in the description, um, they're gonna we're gonna post post all those links so you can check all of that. Out. We should start a Patreon now. Totally. This fridge smells like a fart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you caught that. No. I'll put it back. But she doesn't like your clothes. Give me a shirt. <laughs> That's one of my favorite shirts. It's not a good shirt. Let's take a vote. Trevor found this on the beach in California and loved it. Oh, you found it. it. Yeah. And he was like, I'm keeping the shirt. It's a and I was cool like, shirt. Listen, we're going to let people decide. <laughs> yes or no? Do you like this shirt? <laughs> or do you think it looks like throw up? <laughs> Comment below. Wow, man. <laughs> Thank you.